guys, how's it going? Heather Lynn from Holy Fit here with your Holy Fit Daily Hit. It's uh, your daily hit of exercise. So it's um, meant to be done without any equipment and it will fit into a small space. So you've got no excuses. You can fit this in. And I am gonna be sharing it. So just give me a second here sharing it with a few groups so this will just take me a second or two to set up um, yeah so if you're gonna do the workout make sure that you do the warm-up make sure you warm up for five to ten minutes just move that body around and uh, get it nice and warm before you start so that you don't injure yourself super super important and you want to do the cool down and the stretch as well so this one that we're doing today, it's a builder set. So that just means that you are going to be adding more reps basically. And it's only three exercises, so that's good. <laughs> and you're gonna be starting with 10 of each. And then the next set you do 20 and then 30 and then 40 and then 50. And if you've got the energy and you want to keep going, by all means, keep going. All right. I don't know if you got that little interruption there. Someone was just phoning me. <laughs> all right. And I'm going to share a couple more groups. Another Friday here, another weekend ahead of us. Weeks go by super, super fast. All right, this is the last one I'm sharing it with. And done. All right, so I'll show you the exercises. Super easy, just three different exercises, um, but then you're gonna be increasing by 10 each set, so it will catch up to you really important to warm up well five to ten minutes moving around if you have some exercise equipment at home like a stationary bike you can hop on that for five to ten minutes go for a little walk around the block if you want to just something that gets you moving and gets everything nice and warmed up all right so first exercise push-ups so you're going to start with your push-ups make sure your hands are in line with your chest a little wider than shoulder width apart abs are tight coming down to about 90 degrees pressing up keep your abs super super tight you can do these with your knees on the ground, okay? Or you could also do them against a wall if you wanted to. So if you have some shoulder issues and it's too much stress to do a regular push-up, do them against the wall. You're still gonna get that same uh, movement. So you do 10 of those. Then you do 10 jumping jacks. So this is high impact, 10 of those. If you're doing low impact, it's one, two, all the way up to 10. And then you're gonna do alternating side lunges and you're gonna count each one. So it's gonna be one, two, three, all the way up to 10. So as the sets get longer and longer, you're gonna appreciate that you get to count each one as a rep because you're gonna go up to 50. Might even go up higher if you've got the energy for it. Uh, feel free to do that adding 10 per set with each set that you go up. With those side lunges, just make sure you're stepping out nice and wide. Hips go back, weights through the heel of that bent leg, squeezing the glutes. The stationary leg is straight. Sending the hips back, straight leg, you're gonna get a nice inner thigh stretch. Okay, really think about squeezing those glutes. So that's it, just those three exercises. Do your first one, 10 of each, and then you take your break. So at least 30 seconds, you might wanna take a longer break. Next one, you do 20 reps of each. Next one, 30, then 40, then 50. Make sure you're taking those rests in between. Make sure your form is perfect. If your form starts to fall apart, take a break. If you feel like you can't get that form back no matter what, then just call it a day and you can always do this workout on another day. And then when you're done, you're gonna to wanna to stretch. Your heart rate's up, keep moving around until it settles a bit more before you stop and stretch so you don't get dizzy. And then starting with quadricep stretch, grabbing one ankle, use them for balance if you need it. Holding these 20 to 30 seconds minimum, preferably a little bit longer. It's the hamstring stretch here, weights going through the heel, the bent supporting leg, nice stretch up the back of the straight leg. And then crossing one ankle over, sitting back, like you're gonna sit down into a chair, or you can even sit down into a chair and cross your leg over. 
getting a nice stretch in the glutes. Um, do a little lengthening for the side of the body. I like this stretch. 20 to 30 seconds each side. And opening up your chest, drop your shoulders down, open up the chest. And that's it. So those stretches are good, but if you feel a little tight anywhere else, you want to do some extra stretching, go right ahead. Make sure your stretches feel good. If you're feeling sharp pains, that means you've gone too far with your stretch, you need to back it off a bit. It is possible to injure yourself with stretches, so be careful. They should feel really, really good. And that's it. So enjoy it. If you do it and you want to leave a comment, please do. Um, if you have any other types of comments, feel free to leave them below. If you want to talk to me privately, you can message me. I'm happy to chat anytime. Have a great day, guys. Talk to you soon.